hello guys and welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you guys how to cut this dashiki step by step there are different kind of dashiki that you guys have seen but i've got a lot of requests about people asking me to make a dashiki outfit that's why i decided to make this video so i'll be showing you guys how to cut this step by step and on the next video i'm going to show you guys how to sew this step by step as always in case you have a design that you want me to make a video about i will advise you to join the whatsapp group there is a link in the description below just join the whatsapp group all we do is that every week we decide a particular style and we all vote one particular style up so that's what i'll be making a video about so if you're interested just click on the link in the description below and join so without further ado let's get straight into the video so i already fold this into double as always and i cut the length and I fold it exactly with the length of the sleeve, the sleeve length, which is the shoulder. That's from your back, from your center back to your preferred sleeve. And the length of the dashiki itself is a total of 33. I'll be piping it with two at the end part. So that will be 33 minus two inches. That will be 31, right? So I'll be adding an extra half of an inch for the sewing allowance. So I'm going to have a total of 31.5 inches. So I'm going to mark that. And I'm going to mark it at the second side or so. So after marking it, I'm just going to cut it out. <coughs> I'll not be needing the edge of the of the fabric so that's why i cut out so this is the front so the next thing we're going to cut now is going to be the back right so i'm going to fold it exactly at the same measurement which is 14 inches right and on this one for the length i'm going to add an extra four inches for the length that would be for the back don't forget our 31 that's 31 plus 4, which will give us a total of 35. You can see that. So I'm just going to chop my length right there. I'm just going to cut it out. So now if I'm putting my front, I will put in the front on it now. So you can see. So obviously the back will be longer than the front. See? 
So the thing I will be doing now is that I will be slanting the shoulder. But on this one, I'll be slanting the shoulder by two inches. You know, if you're cutting a normal senator that has a broad shoulder, or you're going to go move like a maximum of four, three inches. So on this one, I'll be cutting two inches, as you can see. I'm going to this thing. I'm going to cut it out. Now I'm going to take it back so I can do my overlap. You can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the neck. I believe you've seen the video of how to cut the neck and if you have not seen that, check my video gallery or I will put a link in the description below so you can learn how to cut the neck but if you already know you just follow it up and just cut out your neck as simple as that you see so you know on this one this is a dashiki so you don't need to cut an arm hole it's going to be like that just straight like that you can see that just straight like that so the next thing i'll be cutting will be the back facing and the front facing as well of the design we're making on the dashiki itself so i'm just going to fold it into two the wrong and the right side you can see that i'm going to place my back on it i'm going to cut out the facing see that so I'm just going to fold the back side just fold up one inch there so the next now we cut now will be the front facing so I'm not going to cut the uh, the tape I'll be cutting that after the sewing so you guys can understand what I'm doing. I mean, that's the part that I'm not going to cut in this video. During the sewing, I'm going to cut the down tape. So the next thing I'm doing now is to cut out the facing. So I'm just going to trim the facing edge, you can see, that's all we have, so I'm just going to trim that edge and make it a curve edge. So that's what we have. So I'm going to slit the neck now, so you guys can see, depending on how much you want it to be deepened, how much you want the depth of the neck to be. So on this one, I just want it to be like around um, 7 inches. So I'm just going to like mark 7 inches and make a slit at the next side. Just like that.
I'm just going to measure my seven. Just two and three inches. I'm just going to mark that part. And I'm going to do the same thing on the facing itself. So that is the whole video on cutting. So I will see you guys on the sewing aspect. So that's all we have for the cutting. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe to the channel.